Hey everybody, welcome to Sailing Tips. Today we're going to talk about Genoa trim and car position. Getting it right is especially important on masthead rigged Genoa driven boats like this Catalina 470, but the exact same principles apply to all boats, including this fractionally rigged, mainsail driven F82R trimaran. To determine your default upwind car position, draw a line from the center of the Genoa luff through the clue and down to the deck. This is your default or upwind car position. On this boat, it's right between these two windows. It's probably a good idea to mark this position for future reference. If your sailmaker did their job properly, this should be right in the middle of the track, with half of the track forward of this position and half of the track aft. For sailing upwind on a masthead boat, you want the foot of the sail just off the lower shrouds and the leech of the sail just off the upper shrouds. You also want the telltales streaming back on both sides of the sail. If the telltales on one side of the sail are lifting, it means that side of the sail is being starved for wind. So in this case, the green telltales on the inside of the sail are lifting, so we either need to turn the boat away from the wind or trim the sail in to present more of that side of the sail to the wind. Similarly, in this case, the red telltales on the outside of the sail are lifting, so we either need to turn the boat into the wind or ease the sail to present more of the outside of the sail to the wind. One of the most useful sail trimming devices is the Windex at the top of the mast. A good rule of thumb for sailing upwind is to align the Windex arrow with the luff or leading edge of your genoa and mainsail. This is actually a good rule of thumb for any point of sail between a beat and a beam reach. If something has gone wrong with your sail trim, it could be that there has been a substantial wind shift and a glance up at the Windex will tell you that immediately. It's really nice to have genoa cars that can move under load, like these Garhauer units because then you can adjust them without having to tack or jibe. If it's really windy or gusty and you're getting to the upper edge of your sail's capabilities, you might want to move the car aft of the default upwind position. For sailing upwind, you can still trim the foot of the sail to just off the lower shrouds as usual, but having the car aft will leave the top of the genoa more twisted and open, allowing it to spill wind and reducing heel. If you're reaching or broad reaching, you might want to move the car forward of the default upwind position which will open the foot without opening the leech too much. An even better solution for reaching is to move your sheet leads to an outboard and forward position. You can do this by attaching a second sheet from the outboard rail and leaving the normal sheet in place. Just ease the sail load from the normal sheet to the outboard sheet and reverse the process and remove the outboard sheet when you need to tack. Here's just one more thing. So when you got leech flutter, you're going to uh, destroy your sail. So what you want to do is uh, come here your uh, tightening mechanism, pull it until the leech stops fluttering, just like that. Fasten it down, close the tab, and there you go, no more leech flutter. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want more sailing tips. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.